Hey y'all, it's your girl Anita again with Mimi back with another video. So, I apologize if I've been away for so long. I first want to say thank you to my loyal subscribers and viewers who have stuck with me. Um, this video may seem all over the place, but it's just because I have a lot going on and I kind of wanted to give you as much content as possible. So, first things first, life update. Um, Lady MSV, I'll be having new songs on my Spotify, all streaming networks or platforms within the next 30 days. Um, I had to do things, I had to take certain songs away, that way I could do it things like the right way. So with that in mind, stay tuned, definitely follow me on Spotify if you haven't already. I'll put in the link description in this video the link to my link tree which has all of my links really like YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, all of that. Apple Music, iTunes. Um, by the way, this is my song lighted up today, so now. Um, so yeah, new music from Lady MSV is coming soon. Um, for those who follow me on Instagram and my personal Facebook, if you watch my story, you would have seen that yesterday me and my son went skating at a skating rink. It was so Funny. I'll see if I can make it clips, I'm not sure about that. But it was so funny because I haven't skated in over 10 years. Like when I was younger, like especially in middle school, I used to rollerblade, skate, and I had started learning how to skateboard um, before I had to change school districts and went to high school, all that crap. Um, so I, I go from someone who used to like do like all the types of skating to me now who haven't skated in 10 years. And it was hilarious because I'm like holding on to the rail. I mean, I was with a coworker and we both were. It was hilarious. We were like, ah. Um, eventually, I fell once, she fell, my son fell, but he had like the little helper. <laughs> but it was all fun. We had fun, you know. Woke up this morning a little like lumping because I'm old now. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm only 30. But um, yeah, so that's fun. School will be coming back in session for my son, for those who don't know, and I do have a video, if you go in my um, my videos, look for, I think it's called The Reason Why I Homeschool. For those who don't know, I homeschool my son, I do it through K-12, so he is starting back school soon, yay! Um, so my life will get a little bit more busier because of that, obviously, I'm like his teacher, guide, study partner everything um that's happening um i have a okay no i have a new channel it's called monation's tv um that's gonna do like a lot of updates regarding my lady msv journey um plus other things um it's kind of like i'm trying to do it like a news space like the news station or whatever that's the goal uh, basically you have like segments basically that's what i wanted to do um, so follow that channel because I have more updates about Lady MSV. I'm going to be posting over there soon. Okay, this video I am, for those who follow me for my readings, I am going to do tarot. Actually, I'm going to do Oracle. Just Oracle um, and any downloads or like prophetic messages that come through. Now, with that in mind. Okay, so you know how yesterday was the Lionsgate portal? Okay. Um, so I forgot that song was on my Spotify for a second, and I was like, wait a second. Um, so, um, I distracted my own self. Okay, sorry. I'm going to do a reading for those who follow me for my, um, spiritual messages, spiritual videos type videos. Um, also I wanted to say that I went to work this, okay, no. Go back. I feel like, the, sorry, I'm all over the place. I feel like this, what I want to say is really important to people entering into their spiritual journeys. So I really am so glad it came back because I didn't want to forget this. Um, for those who follow me on my personal Instagram and Facebook, saw my story of me and my son going skating, which I just talked about. Well, this morning I woke up and weird things started happening, and I actually posted another story um, on my Instagram, and I think. I think my Facebook did. I can't remember if I did it or not. But basically, um, I may put a clip or not. Um, but basically, I listen to Bob Marley in the mornings every day when I'm getting ready for work because he just really keeps me high. 
you have a song, high vibration, or anyways, good vibration. Ignore me. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I was listening to him in the shower, and I have a specific Bob Marley playlist that I play. I click on it. Um, one of his songs played, and then like a random like R and B song started playing, and I was like, "What the heck?" And there's Bob Marley. Um, so yeah, I finished out, finished it up, let the song play. It played another R and B song. I got out, put it back to Bob Marley. Um, and then I started drawing off and stuff, and it played, I think it was jammin'. Um, then after that, it played another R&B, like, slow love song, and I'm like, what the heck? That has never happened. This is my Bob Marley playlist that's actually created from Spotify, so it's only Bob Marley songs on it. It's not, like, a personal playlist I made. It's one of his that's on his, um, it's like, it's, like, the greatest hits of Bob Marley, something like that. Um, so there's no reason any other artist of any other genre should be playing. Um, but it happened twice. And it freaked me out, so I made a Facebook Live. Now, what I wanted to say is, after that, I made another post on my story saying, because I put Bob Marley back on. I'm so sorry if I'm just, like, all over the place. I put Bob Marley back on, and the song... Is it love? Is it love? Came on. <laughs> yeah, it came on and it freaked me out because again, it's another love based song. Like, Bob Marley does have love songs, but it's mostly like redemption songs, Buffalo Soldier, Keep Your Head Up, like motivational type music. Um, and that's what I was listening to every time I would play him. But it freaked me out. And then at one point, I put on my story, like, oh my God, this is too much. I'm not, I'm like calling out of work. I didn't. I ended up going to work. One, because definitely my coins, but also because I realized maybe, and I know I'm just talking, but maybe, like, when I get, when things like that happen to me, it may not always be related to my life. I think in the past, when things happen, I used to think, like, oh, it's for me, or it's a message for me, and again, like, for me in love, it would, like, or whatever topic it was in reference to, it would freak me out. But then, like, I don't know, later on today, I started thinking, like, well, maybe I'm getting these messages because there's somebody connected to me that may need to know that there's somebody coming in about to sh show emotions that they may not be aware that this person has or, like, somebody new is entering your life and it's going to be a love interest and it's going to be really, like, romantic and open. And because the songs that we're playing were basically, like, show me it's real, call me, like really good vibe like you know it's just me and you I don't know and so I started thinking like maybe these like signs aren't always for me so I shouldn't have to always freak out because maybe excuse me my job as like an oracle or seer is to just relay the message because there's somebody out there that's going to see it that relates that it relates to so um if you are new to your spiritual journey keep that in mind like and okay I have a podcast and one of my latest episodes was about a dream that I had. Um, I'm not sure if I can input a segment. If I do, it'll happen. It's fresh. It's freshish on my mind. Um, no, I want to say a warning. This dream could be triggering to anyone who's ever experienced physical, sexual, mental abuse, have been in like any type of hostage situation. So this is a disclaimer. If any of those topics is kind of triggering, triggering to you. Well, this may actually help you, but if not, please just keep that in mind, okay? I don't want to upset anybody. Excuse me. So, the part of the dream from last night that I want to share is, and this right here could be for one, maybe two people. It's definitely not a collective dream. So, in this dream, I was in first person, so I was in this young lady's body. Um, it started out, she was like a live-in nanny for this um, couple. I want to say they were married, however, that really never came up or I can't really remember that detail, but I know they were a couple, okay? And the live-in nanny was anywhere from like 18 to like 25-ish. She was really young, okay? And this couple had between this is a little foggy, have between, I want to say, three to five children. 
because um, at one point I was I was confused. I was like, this is this a daycare? Like, what's happening? But no, you're actually living at these, this couple's house. They had a really big house. Um, the kids loved you. You loved the kids. That part was great. What wasn't great is you started to notice that this couple had weird tendencies and it didn't resonate with you and you said to yourself, okay, this is weird, um, I'm going to leave. Some of the tendencies I remember, um, one, the husband will look at you really inappropriately, two, the wife seemed to kind of start over time resent you um, and you're like, oh, well, now I don't feel safe, I'm going to leave. So one day, you go up to them and you're like, okay, I'm going to leave. Um, and this part's triggering. The first time, or yeah, the first time you actually openly said to these people, well, I am going to leave. For some reason, you ended up in their bedroom. The wife. Um, so basically, I know this didn't relate to me. Like, it was a Caucasian girl in a situation. She was young, um, like a lot younger than me. Um, she, like I said, I've never been in these situations. I've never met these people. And at this point in my life, I really don't think it would fit my story. So I put it on my podcast because it was really scary, as you guys heard, or hopefully if I could um, input it for you, that I felt the need to actually put it on my podcast because I was like, I know for a fact this is not for me. But if this is really a sign, like, because this dream was so specific, it like, somebody out there may just need that encouragement to leave their situation or just get an idea of how to leave or just know that they're that they someone is thinking of them or understands their situation they're not alone they're loved and people are hoping for them to get out like I don't know so that's why I posted it and I don't know I, that and then like today like I said I was thinking like maybe I just need to slow down when I get dreams or messages because I sometimes instantly think it's me and I'm like, oh my god, what? Or like confusion or freak out. And it may not be. It may just be people around me. Or just someone who God will send to my channel to watch this video and it will help them. Um, okay. Um, so yesterday, <laughs> sorry, at um, the skating rink, as soon as I left, when I went to work this morning, my boss was like, as soon as you left, they called you for a prize that I won. So I'm going to show you guys what I won. Turn on music, just hold that. So, as you guys can see, it is a Insta, Instax 3D phone, no, Instax Mini S, Instax Mini 7S Instant Camera Bundle by Fujifilm. This is what it looks like. Um, and then I also got the Instax Mini Film. It says 10 sheets by two, so I guess I got 20 sheets of foam. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Okay. So basically, I wanted to open it with you because I had, I really, I'm a 90s kid, so obviously I've seen Polaroid pictures, especially a lot in like photo albums of like family and stuff, but I've never really, because I was a kid and young, never really had my own. So I never really took pictures of them, and so I don't really know how it operates, and I'm sure, ooh, this has like updates or something. Bro, oh, it's like a cute little bag. This is like, wait, let's, let's take it out. This is so cute. I think it has a strap too. Okay guys, how cute is this? It says, and stack. And this is the back. And let's. Okay. It has a button to open it that way. I thought I broke it. It's meant to do that. It has a strap. And you can put the camera in. And I don't even know why it's meant for this to come off, but it. Okay, I kept you through the purse. I don't know, I'm so intrigued. Okay, hold on. I'm not really sure about that, but I just know it's cool. Okay. Or you can use... Hold on. Well, what I was trying to do originally was like that, and it has a strap that you can release to make it longer, and I get to put on your shoulder, and take her around, take some Polaroid pics. 
Anyways, um, so that's super cool. This is my song Sit Down, by the way. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Three photo silicone clip. Got pink, purple, and it looks like a gray color. I have to be honest, I don't know what silicone clips are. Or like the purpose. I'm not really that up to date with technology accessories. Or... I'm so confused. Okay, so this is what it looks like out the bag. And you go like this. Like the clip. Okay, I'm sorry, don't be weird, Mary, don't be weird. I'm actually not stuck in This is instant film. So it's like the film that you put in inside the camera. Maybe I can see that. Whoa, this baby is huge. I love the color though. Not like not the color. I love the color though. And it comes with batteries. Maybe we can try it out. Okay, is this like a, I was going to say a hippie status, like, I just want to be outside in nature and be like, look. You can set as our settings, indoor, dark, cloudy, shady, fine, clear. And I'm like a selfie junkie, so y'all just, the universe just messed up, I'm taking more. Oh, batteries go here. <laughs> and I did that by accident, actually. Yeah, I guess I could pull these out. I just don't want to break it. I don't want to break it. I'm leaving it. <laughs> I feel like it's supposed to come out though. But I'm going to read the instructions later. Later. This is where the film goes. And I guess it comes up as a little vanilla. I am so excited! Oh crap, I'm just clicking buttons. Oh, settings. You can change the different settings. Don't get me. And then I guess when you turn it on, it like extends out of those. I hope by doing that manually, I didn't break it. What is this? Okay, I think this is the instruction manual, which is what I need. We got. That's what it is. It's like a ball binky, like a dinkily. I was really about to see that one too. <laughs> Basically. You like connect it. Don't judge me. You connect it somewhere, guys. Not here. <laughs> Where are you gonna say we connect it? I know you connect it. So I would think it would be like. You can make it somewhere so it's like you can hang it on your ankle, up on your wrist. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna waste time just to figure out where the thing goes. Okay. This is. 
idea booklet so we can get ideas of types of things to take. That's what it looks like. Different ideas of what you can do with the Polaroid. Camera stickers! Ooh, we're gonna make it pretty. Cool, I can put it a warranty, so that's always good. Okay, I think this is what you put the film into, and then you put it into the back of this thing. Again, once I actually read the instructions, I should know. Oh, you can join the Instax community and receive special offers, product updates, and DIY ideas. We'll see. I'm running with you for life. Will you go up here by your side? Can't believe you took it seriously. Go to play a time smoking. I just really love the color, first off. Given. <gasps> you can put your picture, your photos in here. Oh my god. Can't believe you took it seriously. And. Like notes or something? You can put like a. Notes. I don't know. I'll be back after. Actually, no. I'm gonna keep recording. Okay, so these are like the communities. I can do all of this. That's, that's really cool. Figure out how to work that there. No. A lot of stuff about Europe. I guess these are distributors, like, oh my god, they send you a lot of information. I just want to know that you work at. I'm going to start it. Share my song, All My Life by Lady in the Sea. If you have it already, add it to your favorite playlist. It's a vibe. Insert so that the battery removal sheet is under the battery. So yeah, I was trying to tear that out. Oh my god. People may always use it once. Open the battery, guys. <laughs> Look at so pretty. Ah, it's in my car. I'm gonna open it so bad. No. Oops. 
hard not to do this so I can at least try this with you guys at least once. Yeah. Wait, no, you should be sticking out. Don't judge me. Okay. Film. This. Is this really how this would go? Can I be honest? What? First of all, I know I should really be focusing on why it's important right now. But they're showing where this thing goes, and I don't see it on my camera. So, well, let me focus. Sorry. Can I be honest? This is confusing. Okay. Open the thing where the thing goes. These instructions suck. I guess you put the picture on this for it to dry. Can I be honest? I have no idea. I have no idea. They're not explaining this at all. Okay, so I think you open this up.
Okay. So this side is like red. It's blinking. Okay. Okay. We're gonna try this, okay? Oh my god, 29 minutes. Okay, let's try. Please. Wait, how do you take a picture? I'm sorry. <laughs> Make it some face. Okay, I'm gonna place it on this thing. This is not a film. So let's try it again. It said this is not a film, so let's try it again. Okay, funny face. Okay, I low-key don't advise that. My eyes hurt now. <sighs> I literally see two rectangles, but when I close my eyes, crap. Don't do what I did. So we're going to upset. Does it tell you how long it has to set? Hold on. Yeah, they have like shooting range, effective flash range. Don't be an idiot like I did, because that's not kind of boring. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm looking for the thing that tells you how long. Apparently, after five minutes, it turns off. Six, I don't know. Ten minutes, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do the reading for you guys. I know this has been so long. And hopefully, by the end, we'll have a picture. Um, oh, then you push in to turn off. That's cool. Okay, so here's the sheet. Oh, 
and I guess for safety measures, we could put it back in our bag. Oh, that's cute. Okay, here it is. Focus again, Laura. Focus. Mm -hmm. You know me, notifications. I always forget. One day, girl, one day. We will get our lives together. I hope. Okay, ready then. I'm an idiot. I'm waiting for the picture to upload on this side. Could I put it down so I had it like face like this? It's the other side. Now you know. So it works pretty fast. Oh my god, my face. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna let it sit for like a minute or two and then put it in our little photo album, okay? <gasps> Guys, I just realized I have two more. So the camera itself comes with a pack and then I have two 10 sheets. So 20. <gasps> We're about to go photo crazy. Anyways, <clears throat> spirit, any messages that you want to come out for the collective watching this video to help them increase the quality of their life? Increase their connection to you, spirit, creator, and any of their guides or ancestors that have been trying to contact them or relay any messages. I can't believe I had it upside down. This video is totally going to get added to my high AF playlist on this channel because how special is that? Uh, okay, anyways. Ooh. Don't be deceptive. So collective watching this video, there could be something that you have either not been fully honest about to someone or even to yourself. Ooh, okay, I'm getting that. When it's, this message could be for those regarding others. For example, if you're in a relationship with someone and you are not really having deep feelings for them, don't be deceptive and lead them on. Not only wasting your time, but you're also wasting another innocent person's time when they could also be out there searching for their divine partner um, because you just won't tell the truth. Like, I'm getting that. But what I'm also getting and what I got almost instantly was don't be deceptive to yourself. Meaning, be honest about the people in your life. Be honest about your life quality, like your job or your career or what industry you're in, um, what you're doing, be honest how you're treating others, be honest how you're affecting others, be honest how you're taking care of yourself, is what I'm getting. Any other messages for the collective spirit? Oh, by the way, me and TJ are about to take so many Polaroid pictures. So excited. To be honest, I still don't really know what these are for. Oh, are they magnetic? They're not magnetic. I was thinking maybe like refrigerators, like hang a Polaroid picture in your refrigerator. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I'm gonna have to read more paperwork. But I swear that manual doesn't make that much. So this flipped fell. Look in the mirror. See how strong you are. Okay. So now I'm getting spirit is saying don't be deceptive to yourself. I don't care what others are saying to you about who they think you are or what they think you can or can't do. Look in the mirror and be honest with yourself because only you know your true overall self. People only know parts of us that we allow them to see and that's for everybody because um, that's just life. Like when you're in public, you try to fit into society. You try to do this. There's and even if you're like more outgoing like you don't want to fit in there's still parts of you that you just don't go around telling everybody um and so god is saying or spirit creator is saying that you know all aspects of yourself yes it's nice to get 
constructive criticism from others, especially it's regarding like work products that you want to do. But in regards to like your love life or like your purpose in life, like your meaning that God created you for, that's something that really no one else can tell you is what your inner knowing and also any message coming through God about you in your life. That's the only way you can do that. So God's saying don't be deceptive and don't take in deceptive energy from others. Only you can really tell you yourself how far you've come on your journey. Only people, other people can only speculate based on what they know of your life. And of course, everyone doesn't know all aspects of everyone else's life. So take what they say with a grain of salt, but you be honest with yourself about um, your journey, what you're trying to achieve, things of that nature. Those who, have, those who live hard lives or live with less than others have an advantage. Okay, so what I'm getting collective is the people that I'm speaking to in this reading um, is what other society would consider like lower income, lower class. Um, because of these society standards, I'm getting that this, God wants this message to be said to people who are currently feeling like they're worth, like feeling less worthy of things in life because of maybe their, who they come from or what they look like. I'm getting because you've been told by certain like agencies, corporations, certain people or certain types of people that you don't fit a certain agenda so you can never have this position, you can never have this wealth, you, you only fit in these lines. I'm hearing that all of that is false and I hope this is making sense to somebody. Um, I'm getting that also when you are on a spiritual journey whether it whatever religion regardless of whatever religion you believe in there is usually a common rule when you're spiritual and you become part of this lifestyle you have to understand that the minimal like minimal things in life are so important to all of the world that Everything is a blessing, everything has a meaning, everything has a purpose. So if you're basing your life off of fancy bags, money, big homes, um, all the newest trending toys, don't deceive yourself. The purpose of our lives and the meaning of our soul journeys are not to buy materials. How do you know that? Because when you die, you can't take any of these things with you. When you die, it's literally just your soul. So we are here to learn, whether to grow knowledge, learn how to appreciate others, learn how to love ourselves better. We are all here for different reasons. We all have different journeys, my ear just started ringing. And we are here for a higher purpose, and it's not to obtain things. So God is calling on to those right now, again, watching this video, who are harder themselves because they consider themselves as not being successful, not having enough, not being worthy enough, not fitting into certain crowds. You are on this path for a reason, and and God wants you to go deep, 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 back into your past, back into your childhood. And these are, again, okay, this video is definitely for people who are studying their spiritual journey. He wants you to start your dark night of the soul journey. This is where you have to go through things, and it's going to be tough things because it's a lot of things you probably have hidden from your childhood or hidden from your past that you have wanted to forget. But God is saying that you have to go back. You have to understand why these things happen. Um, everything has a purpose. And even if the purpose doesn't make sense to you now, God wants me to tell you it will in the future. Sometimes we have to, ex especially if you consider yourself or if you think of yourself as a leader, if you want to lead other people in their spiritual journeys or lead people in a career or in a business we you always have to start on the bottom like no one graduates high school um unless you start your own business but let's talk about becoming a leader in like big corporations no one graduates from high school and instantly becomes a ceo of a business you either have to do like um brain art you either have to do like job shadowing or like um, internships you have to get some experience get the experience start at a lower level position 
grow up and then eventually you can become the CEO. And God is saying this is the same for or similar thought process for the spiritual journey. Um, you're not going to just wake up one day, but like, I don't know about a lot of people, but for me, it's like certain things started clicking. Like when people say, oh, I became woke, certain things in the world started becoming aware to me. And then I started researching and then it's kind of like going down a rabbit hole. And then I realized that throughout my life, I, I've, I've actually always had certain abilities and things like that. Um, and then that kind of just took me on the journey because you have to get over self-doubt you have to get over alienation like there's if you to be a leader you have to go through a lot and it's a lot of not happy things and it's not a lot of beautiful things but you have to go through certain things so you can later on teach other people how to go through their journeys or even if not teaching just encouraging them because a lot of times I'm not going to tell you and I feel like this is where suicide I don't want to say that this is where certain things come into fruition it's because a lot of people feel alone uh, they feel misunderstood. They feel like they would never be accepted, or they feel like because of their status, and again, like economical status, that life's already written in stone and they won't achieve anything. Like there's some people who unfortunately do really believe in these society things, and it, it's too much to bear. But when you become spiritual and you look at the overall picture, you realize that none of this stuff really matters. What really matters is things that you can control and that God has already given you. Um, yeah, I don't want to get about that. But anyways, that's what I'm getting. I feel like I just ramble. Any other messages? Do you think I like this here? We are at 45 minutes, guys. I hope I can do this. After the reading, I'm going to end it just because it's so long. Um, and hopefully I can edit it so it's entertaining and awesome. And if you guys haven't already, please subscribe and like this video. So you can stay connected to my channel and get notified when I post again. Okay, nothing's coming out. So I'm gonna, just going to do my main deck today. I'm not going to do the other one, even though I have it out. Um, one, I feel compelled to do the main deck. And also because of time. But you guys know me. If I feel really compelled, I would chance it to do the other one. But really, I'm just compelled to do the other one. So I'm going to do the main deck. So any other messages for the club that's watching this? Video to help guide them into their life. See how like all right, they came out. When I let others shine, I shine too. Spirit is reminding you that, and I feel like this needs to be said, like in the spiritual community. I feel like sometimes there's like a competition. Like I'm the highest high priestess. I'm the most divine, divine feminine, or divine masculine. And I feel like God is saying. Mm -mm. This isn't supposed to be a competition. We are all have our gifts. We are all special. We all have a purpose. That's why we are here. We are are created for a reason. Others can shine. You can shine. The world can go on and actually a better place if others weren't out here trying to sabotage and hurt other people because we all have a purpose. I celebrate my lineage and honor my ancestors. Spirit is reminding you that we all come from some place. Um, I personally did, did a DNA test a few years back. You don't have to. Um, talk to your family. See if you can get some family story histories. Um, but if you want to, you can definitely try to search back your lineage. Um, in doing so, that you will be first you will trust me. You will feel um, closer to your ancestors. I know I personally am. You could find out spiritual things they did, try to practice them yourself, or make a new practice, you know, mold it into your own thing. Just say thank you for being here because without you, obviously, I would not be here. You can say man mantras like that. Just showing honor to my ancestors. My home is a sacred place full of beauty, inspiration, and protection. So I'm getting, um, if you haven't already, and I definitely know. In the future, I'm going to practice what I preach, but we're all getting told that we need to clean up, clean up messes. I don't know if you guys practice like feng shui, move your furniture around, get a new energy flow into your space is what I'm getting. It is safe and beautiful to express my sensuality. I'm getting that. It's just a confirmation that it's okay to be yourself. Um, whether you consider yourself male, female, whatever you identify as, I'm getting that it's okay to be yourself. It's okay to not feel, it's, no, it's okay, I'm trying to 
process with contenting. It's okay to be unique and stand out and not fit into a mold because that actually is what makes you beautiful. And let's be honest, do we all want to be in a world full of Barbies and Kens who do the same thing every day? Like, no, what makes people, what makes this world beautiful is the uniqueness and the individuality of everything. Humans, plants, everything. Like, we have plants, all the plants aren't the same, you know? It's like individuality is part of this, is what makes this whole life and journey and purpose better because we can all learn from each other because we're all not the same our thought processes our opinions are different like it's just beautiful i'm just getting open yourself up to how beautiful the world is based on how different we all are that's one thing my dreams reveal that magic is real and anything is possible okay so i mentioned earlier about dreams i've been having um personally i know magic is real if on my SoundCloud, if you listen to the song, I believe it's called, um, is it We Are Not The Same? Shoot. I won't put it up, but I have a song on my uh, SoundCloud, it's not just anywhere else, and basically I'm talking about my younger self having spiritual, um, happenings in my life and just how it made me who I am um and I'm getting this like you may have dreams you may get messages I've got a lot of other dreams that I have not posted or even sh definitely not on YouTube but not even on like, Facebook because I feel like I don't want to be targeted by certain people but I've gotten groups about events that have been happening in the last two years um, and I think it's very interesting how certain things are coming into creation and how others haven't yet, but the energy of like it could is there and that's interesting. So just things like that, like all my life I've been having like what people say coincidence, but then I also I get messages who later I am told by people are correct or it's things that they're currently going through or happening or have happened. So I take those as this confirmation that God is giving me these messages for a reason and also is allowing me to help people where need be. If you guys have made it to this end, you guys are the real ones. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting my channel. I'll be back with another video. I feel like if I was supposed to do something in this video, I forgot what it was. The main thing was opening my gift, talking about some messages that came in, and doing this reading. I love you guys. Stay blessed and stay true to you are. Bye.